Yeah, that is easy. Hey, Miss Alicia, thank you for joining. Patricia Wilson had always dreamed of owning her own business. She worked in the tech industry for years, but the thought of being her own boss stayed in the back of her mind. I did the nine to five, and um, I just never felt in control of my destiny. And with my company, I'm in control of my destiny. In 2012, she finally took the leap and started her own technology consulting firm, Online Media Interactive, putting over $5,000 of her own money into the business. But her first year of operations only yielded an $800 return. The approach I took was to basically just try to fund it myself. It wasn't until the pandemic hit that her business would earn its first million in revenue. As companies scrambled to figure out how to host virtual events, Wilson's company was in high demand. Her client list grew rapidly, and with it came some new challenges. Cash flow. I remember those days very, very clearly, just wondering whether or not money was going to hit the account in time for me to even pay my mortgage and, and to pay people. Many of her technology solutions clients paid on a net 30, 60, or even 90-day basis, which made it difficult for her to complete services for her clients and scale her business. And then uh, I met someone who told me about Now. Now Accounts is a business-to-business -business company that helps small minority veteran-owned businesses manage their payments, founded by Stacey Abrams and her business partner, Laura Hodgson. So over the course of the, the nine years that I've been working with them, I've done $3 million worth of business that they have helped me fund so that I could get the business up front. When Wilson learned that Now Accounts was founded by Stacey Abrams, she was amazed. The two women have a lot in common, both black women, both Georgians, and both entrepreneurs. She's a writer. I'm a writer. <laughs> uh, I think we both have gap teeth. I mean, we're just, I think we're very similar. Um, and, you know, like I said, I've followed her for years. Um, and I think she's brilliant and amazing. And the fact that she built this company that's literally helped me build my company is, is just mind-blowing. Now came out of a problem that Laura and I experienced at an acute level. We had an amazing opportunity. We had a great business opportunity. Black women are the fastest growing group of U.S. entrepreneurs with almost 2.7 million businesses. However, they still face significant barriers such as bias, discrimination, and limited access to funding. With just 0.2% of venture capital going to black female founders, according to Goldman Sachs, Now Accounts has received $2 million from Goldman Sachs to launch the 1 million black women in Now Credit Facility with the goal of leveling the playing field for small businesses. I'm wondering, how is Now positioned to help solve some of those obstacles of economic immobility. What now does so effectively is actually close the gap. We say, you've got a customer, you've got an invoice, you're just waiting for your cash. The delay can actually collapse your business. And so what we want to do and what Goldman is so intrigued by with our company is that we close that gap. We get that cash into your hands early so that you can actually increase your cash flow. You can take risks. You can do what other businesses take for granted and you can do it now. So I did the first cut and getting the schedule all set up, but now I have to turn it over to you. When you hear about minority suppliers or women suppliers, yes, you've got companies that can pro provide products. You've got vendors who are ready to do it but they can't afford to actually take advantage of opportunity. And for my purposes, whether it's politics or business, it's helping people be able to afford the freedom to take advantage of opportunity, to afford to do more, to dream more. The most successful business stories are ones where risks are taken and where those risks are successful. And what we want to do is give more small business owners, especially women-owned businesses, women like Patricia, the freedom to risk. I'm Stephen Graddick, Scripps News.